I'm conscious in this season of remembrance that many of us have been touched one way or another by the loss and tragedy which grows out of conflict and war. A Christian understanding of remembrance doesn't look back to past events just for the sake of renewing old faded memories. Rather, it draws those events into the present, giving shape and meaning to our experiences now, whilst also propelling us into a future that's full of hope. That's what Christians do week in and week out when we celebrate Holy Communion. We pull the past events of Jesus' death and resurrection into the here and now, where they influence our present reality and give us strength to build a better future in light of the hope we have in the promise of eternal life. While we recognise that war is sometimes unavoidable, we can choose not to be defined by it, but to be shaped instead by our determination to work for peace, striving always to bring good even out of the most evil of situations. We can recognise the ever-present reality of pain and suffering in our world, of evil and brutality, in Christian terms of sin, and yet know that amidst it all the offer of a fragile hope is held out. Hope that we need not be overcome by the power of darkness, nor allow it the final word but that we can choose to respond to hatred with love, to continue striving towards reconciliation and working for a lasting peace. So we remember with thanksgiving the sacrifice of those who gave so much for the freedoms and the life that we enjoy, and we hold before God those who continue today to put themselves in danger for the sake of our safety. And as we remember and give thanks, so we lean into the hope of a better, more peaceful future, and we commit ourselves to continue working ceaselessly for a time where our many differences become a source of celebration rather than division.